Hello Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I'm going to take a look at what's going on with you and the person that's on your mind. Remember that this is a general reading. It's meant for the collective, so it may or may not resonate for you. Take what resonates, leave out the rest. Because it's general, the messages can be interchangeable. And if you're interested in looking for some more messages, you can always take a look at your other placements. You may find some more messages there for you. And if you're looking for something a little bit more personal, I'll leave all of the information for, uh, for a personal reading in the description box below for you guys. Okay, I almost said cancer. Is someone dealing with a cancer? Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What's going on with Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs? Let's get started here. The tower. Ooh. Oh, we started off strong. <laughs> with the lightning. There's been a sudden, uh, sudden change. Shocking change, surprise, something surprising, something you didn't see coming, um, shocking news, epiphany, an epiphany moment, a huge major revelation, realization, upheaval maybe for some of you, but a major, major transformation for you guys. Something major has recently occurred for you and... It, it was it was caused for for a huge huge change I'm seeing that for some of you you may have you may have found out about other choices other options here or one of these choices and options has really really surprised you Someone that you didn't see coming or an offer you didn't see coming. There's been many offers, but one in particular you didn't see coming at all. And I feel like this could, could also be a gift. Somebody could have given you a surprise gift, surprised you with a gift or even a ring maybe. With this, this is what catches my eye here, this ring. Somebody, there are people here who want to offer you a lot. Some want to offer you home. Some want to offer you uh, money. Some people want to marry you. Some people want to give you gifts. But at the same time, there are some who are, don't have the best intentions for you. Someone who's not being their true authentic self and another one who's a snake. Let's take a look at the person that's on your mind. We have a coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, and friendship. So let's take a look at the person that's on your mind, Aquarius. The person that's on your mind, Aquarius. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups and Six of Pentacles. Ooh, it's not a good, good mix. I feel like this person, they could be a little bit selfish. Or they may, you may feel like they're being a little bit selfish right now. Like they're only thinking about themselves, about their happiness, what you can do for them, what you can bring for them. an exchange of gifts so they may not be giving you their entire their all here they may not be giving you their all maybe this is a friendship could be a friendship nine of pentacles yeah nine of pentacles so we have two nines here 
$1.99. There is this person who it looks like they really value their indep independence or they really are like in love with themselves. This person is in love with themselves or they're just self-obsessed is what I'm hearing. I, I get that this person, they do have feelings for you. They do. I see it. But at the same time, their main focus at this point is about like them. So it's like they're getting a little bit too comfortable. You may feel like this person's getting a little bit too comfortable with you because you may be somebody who's very generous. You have a really good heart. You like to give and give. And then this person just keeps taking and taking and they could be taking advantage of you. You may feel like this person is taking advantage of you. In your energy, we have the mirror. Mirroring each other, self-image, relationships reflect our wounds and introspection. Okay, let's take a look, Aquarius, let's take a look at you. I'm hearing cause and effect, cause and effect. People react to how we react as well. So the Hierophant. You could be in a relationship with this person. Maybe you're married to this person. Or you're somebody who really values your your culture, your spirituality, your belief systems. You have certain belief systems that are in place here. A very strong belief system. And... I feel like there's something that you're struggling with, with this five of pentacles. You may, maybe you're literally struggling financially. It's like you, you're always there for other people, but when you need somebody, you feel left out. You feel left out in the cold or like no one's there for you. You give to the point where you, you don't really think about maybe even the consequences. I feel like abandonment. You may have some deep-rooted abandonment issues from like childhood that could be reflecting itself in a relationship in a marriage or in casual relationships as well here the lovers yeah, this has this is telling me it has to do with relationships. So it's something about relationships that you're having some struggles with. You may be struggling with a relationship right now because you have some wounds. Some wounds that have to deal with abandonment, being left out. Maybe you feel like you're being given the silent treatment from someone. And... I feel as though this could possibly even be something from past lives that have reincarnated into this life with this Hierophant card. Temperance. It feels like there's a disconnect or there's just no harmony. You're, you're losing your peace, losing your harmony. But I feel like you're trying to make something work. You're trying to create something. And you're trying to create something good. And trying to mix all different things together. You and this person could be very, very different from each other. I'm hearing compromise. I'm hearing... 
I'm hearing compromise. You may be compromising yourself where you need to uh, speak up about it, speak your needs as well. In your outcome, we have kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. So let's take a look at the outcome here. Aquarius, what is the outcome for Aquarius? King of Wands. This is a uh, Leo Aries Sagittarius. And we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and Taurus here. So, King of Wands. I see there's a King of Wands in, in your outcome here. And I, I get that with this Knight of Swords. There is some communication coming in from this King of Wands. I feel like this is you asserting yourself. This is you... Speaking your mind, speaking what's been on your mind, having a lot to say, having things to say that have been like built up over the years. And for some of you, you could be lashing out on someone or, or them you. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles here is, is telling me that this situation is being nurtured or somebody here is willing to listen, willing to nurture, and willing to take action. And actually take what what you need to say into consideration. I feel like you and this person, I'm seeing, honestly, I'm seeing three people. There could be a third party here. Maybe you have a choice to make or somebody in your outcome, somebody could be coming in unexpectedly out of the blue here who you're going to end up falling in love with, with the kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection and falling in love. I feel like this is kind of, for most of you, this is the case. Someone's coming in out of the blue. And I feel like you're going to end up falling in love with this person. The Empress, as your, as your advice, which is to... To embark on a new beginning, the birth of something, birth of an idea, relationship. And this is abundance and prosperity as well. Ace of Wands. There's a new idea for you. There's a new idea or there's a new spark. Your advice is to explore this this spark, explore this new thing, this new opportunity, this new spark here, because it could have a lot of growth, a lot of abundance, a lot of prosperity here, because I feel like there's someone who is just either too comfortable or it's, it's one-sided. It feels like things are one-sided and they don't really take into consideration how much you're giving or compromising of yourself. So Spirit wants you to explore new possibilities, new, new options. I'm seeing uh, a circle. So something's coming full circle, a completion. It's time to... It's time for something to come full circle and come to a completion. If it hasn't already. We have Ice King. 
you or this person could be somebody who's very tall, bulky, mas uh, masculine, uh, could have facial hair, could be into fitness, physical fitness, could have like a nice built body. This King of Wands, this is someone in your outcome who's very, very attractive. King of Wands is someone who's very, very attractive. So someone really attractive is coming into your outcome here. Control. You may have some certain belief systems that could be controlling you. It could have to do with um, something that you grew up with. It's some certain belief system with this Hierophant that has some sort of control. Or t it's time to take back your control here. We have a blonde female. You or this person could be a blonde female or somebody who has light hair or a redhead even. I'm going to get a few more cards before I close off this reading for you guys. Is there anything else that we should know? For Aquarius, is there anything else that we should know for Aquarius? Soulmate, we have, yes, this is your soulmate. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I see that you're going to end up meeting your soulmate. You or this person could have children. Your love life is being affected by children. Or someone you're currently dealing with here is a soulmate for you. Someone who you already know, who I feel like you could be falling in love with again, over again. Or somebody who you could be falling in love with in your outcomes. So this is what I'm getting for you, Aquarius. If you like this reading, please comment, like, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos. Let me know if it resonated. And I hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation. And thank you for watching. Bye.